Now new concerns about operations at the sterigenic facility that uses the cancer causing chemical ethylene oxide. The facility has been forced to cancel plans to test the building's integrity. CBS 46's Jamie Kennedy has the latest developments. The controversial company Sterigenics, which emits the cancer causing gas ethylene oxide into the air, was forced to halt operations last October because of new codes enforced on the facility by Cobb County, meaning no work on the facility could be done. Yet strangely, the company was set to run tests at the Smyrna facility tomorrow until state lawmakers stepped in. You know, how would they be testing a system unless it's complete and how could it be complete? unless they had violated the permit. In a statement to CBS 46, Stereogenics says the county has approved the testing and balancing of the systems that has occurred since that time. But Cobb County has yet to give the company new codes it needs to adhere to. A spokesperson for the county says the county manager gave the company permission to run the tests. Cobb County Commissioner Bob Ott today saying he found out late last night about the testing and immediately reached out to the government governor's office to get the EPD to stop this testing and force sterigenics to comply with county rules and codes. Representative Allen saying to CBS 46 a number of officials were not informed of the company and the county's movements. I'm not sure that all of the commissioners were properly informed that it was going to happen and I do not believe from like I said the conversations that I had with the governor's staff that they were notified. The EPD says it was notified of the test by the company and asked the county if it had the necessary approval. The good news is no test is going ahead for now. In studio, Jamie Kennedy, CBS 46 News.